Well, from pig diving to parasites, five new crazy rides and the best of WA food and produce, the Perth Royal Show is back bigger and better than ever this year, despite the rainy weather. That is where Lisa Fernandez is this morning. Lisa, organisers are bringing back the spirit of the show this year. And I think it's just fantastic, Tivo. I'm in the cattle area and I've just met my mate Nathan here. Now, Nathan is from McClarden Highland Cattle, OK? Originally from South Australia. He's showing his cows here. This is beautiful Honey. Honey is nine years old. She's actually nine months pregnant. Uh, so she's, Nathan tells me she's going to be having a baby just after the show finishes. And yesterday she won an award which was Supreme Exhibit. Uh, so congratulations to Nathan and to Honey. So check them out, uh, McClarden A Highland Cattle. Now, this is what the show is about because you can bring the kids to the cattle area here and they can do exactly what I did, meet the producers, meet the uh, uh, people who actually bring the produce to the show and they can walk along and meet the cattle. And that's that's what I'm here to talk to uh, the president of the Royal Ag Society, Paul Carter. Morning, Paul. Morning, Lisa. And you've brought your little boy along and he's, he's you know, getting involved. This is what it's about, isn't it? Oh, 100% this is what it's about. It's about the opportunity for city people to engage with country, to engage with our farmers and celebrate the best produce in the world. And I've got to say, I've been look, talking to Nathan for the last half an hour and I know more about Highland cattle than I ever have. And it's, it's really great because you get to find out where your food comes from, you know, how it's made and the love they have for the animals and for the produce. Lisa, it's an amazing opportunity. It's an endless opportunity at the showgrounds for children to engage animals of all types. Yes. Uh, none, none more so than here in the cattle. The, the producers are fantastic people to come and meet. Uh, their cattle are uh, fantastic produce. They're the best of the best, really, and that's what we're here to do, to celebrate at the Royal Show uh, all day, every day. And uh, you, I just said that there was access down into this area. Have you guys always done that and maybe we just didn't know about it or, you know, is it about... The cattle lanes have always been open to the public to Isn't come that and interesting? see. The only time during the day we close it is during the Grand Parade, which is that wonderful display of uh, animals on the main arena. Yeah. That's just a safety reason. But for all other er times, people can come and visit the cattle and the producers, as I say, celebrate farmers. That's what it's all about. Celebrating farmers, which is absolutely wonderful. So I can tell you right now that it is 10 degrees in the city. We're we are going for a top today of 17. Look, there is going to be rain, maybe some showers around. Tomorrow, 18 degrees, a shower or two clearing later. Uh, Wednesday, 17 degrees, possible light shower. Thursday, 18, chance of showers and a thunderstorm. Friday, 20, partly cloudy. And then the nice weather continues on Saturday. It's going to be 22 degrees. Look, I just want to say um, thank you to Nathan and everyone from McClanaday. McLaren, eh? Sorry, Highland Cattle. Uh, <gasps> see, I was practicing that. Yeah, no, you I did well, Lee. I was saying <laughs> McLaren, eh? But it rhymes with Chardonnay, which is how I remembered it. Well done, Lisa. I Lise. thought the very and, same know, thing, Lisa. It's been Lisa. wonderful to meet the cattle and, <laughs> and to meet the cattle and, you know, just to be around them. Mm. So, you know, bring the kids, that's all I want to say, to the cattle area because they will love it at the Royal Yeah, definitely a good one for the kids. That's all right, Lisa. We'll catch you next bulletin. Thank you. <laughs>